I'm female to male transgender and I transitioned, I made my big like sort of social announcement uh, when I was 17 before I left for college in the summer. And um, my parents had known for a while and they were okay with it, but um, they were a bit concerned about how my youngest sisters would um, deal with it. They weren't sure if they would understand. Um, one of my sisters was eight years old uh, when I came out to her and uh, my next sister up was 12. But it actually turned out to be not that big a deal and um, really kind of funny. I had been for a long time before I came out, like actually in words, I had been doing my best to sort of act like a guy because it just made me feel better. So I had my hair cut short, uh, I wore boys clothes all the time, and some of my friends at the time um, knew that I was trans and some of them, you know, like would call me by a guy's name and call me he and stuff like that. So I was already getting pretty used to the role and I'd been in the closet for like almost two years. Like it had been a really long time that I'd been keeping the secret. So like I was tired of keeping it at this point. So the way that I came out to my big extended family was actually through a letter. We just sort of had a little note attached to my graduation party announcements. And it was like, oh yeah, come to Daniel's graduation party. Who is Daniel now? <laughs> I'm a guy. Um, just in a little note. And um, I wrote like a rough draft of it. Um, and I left it lying around because I didn't really care about hiding the, my secret anymore. And um, my middle sister, my sister who was 12, found it and, and read it. So, um, but when the time came that, you know, we had, we, everybody sat down at the dinner table and we, you know, had very seriously um, began the conversation of, you know, what I'm going to, what's going to be changing about me and everything, she already knew. And so she was just sort of sitting there laughing at me um, when I was trying to be really gentle because I was really concerned about the harm that I was going to exert on my little sister's fragile psyches. Um, so she just thought it was funny. Uh, then uh, my youngest sister, I just sort of talked to her instead, and um, I, just, I just started out, like, I literally, what I said was, okay, so you know how, like, I kind of dress like a boy, and how sometimes when I pick you up from school, your friends think I'm your brother, and then she, like, cuts me off and goes, you want to be our brother? And then I was just sort of like, uh, yeah. <laughs> And it just like was uphill from there. Like she had no problem with it. None, uh, neither of them did. Uh, they had no problems understanding it. And like that night when she was going to bed, my youngest sister uh, was like, oh, good night, Daniel. And like gave me a hug and a kiss, like completely normal. And it was nothing um, to, you know, both me and my parents like surprise.